Trooper Steve joins us now to give us a little bit of perspective on all of this. Steve, of course, we all know you're a military veteran and you've been in similar situations as to what's going on right now. So tell us, how do you feel that the military bases were prepared? Um, uh, first and foremost, any military location throughout the world is prepared for any attack that is an enemy to the United States. So this was just a little bit more prepared, I think I would say, because I was stationed in Iraq uh, in 2007-2008 time and was actually probably attacked probably six or seven times from the air. And every military installation has, you know, plenty of technology in place that just because someone's saying, hey, I'm pushing the button right now, and you don't know that, doesn't mean you're not prepared for the incoming. Alarms are gonna start going off. Uh, shelter in place, uh, incoming, incoming. And then of course there's protocols in place ready to, that you need to kind of take when this stuff starts happening. You just said you were attacked six or seven times from the air. Describe, what is that like? <sighs> Uh, without saying it's probably the most scariest experience of your life you mm -hmm. know you hear it you just can't see it um, you, you know it's happening and in the initial phases you're like you're, what is that noise mm -hmm. uh, you initially start seeking shelter you, you're hoping that you can hear the explosions because at that point if you don't then maybe you were hit uh, it is a, a terrifying time but at the same time is that real as it gets when it comes to being on the ground and attacks coming. And I mean, can you give us a perspective of what these bases could look like? We're not talking this, you're saying it could be the size of like a, a college park. I mean, I, absolutely, you're talking this base has been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're talking back 2007, 2008 when I was in Iraq. Uh, our, I was stationed at Camp Bukha, which uh, held some of the most radical Islamic terrorists on the face of the earth at the time. And that was a bare base. The base that was attacked uh, today or last night was fully developed. We're talking, like you said, a small college park fully functioning little city that is functioning, military operations with other countries, and that's what was attacked. So you gotta think, what kind of resources are there? There are electrical grids, there are water sources, stuff like that, that could have been attacked that we'll see at a later time. We this. know they're well protected you know, on these bases, but it is tense for the family Absolutely. and friends who know they have loved ones mm. over there stationed there. I, I, I get the chills just thinking about this stuff because you just don't know, and, and mm -hmm. it's the hardest part when you start dealing with war or acts of war. And at the end of the day, all I ask is that everyone at home take a moment today, send your thoughts and prayers to anyone that's overseas in any of these kind of capacities and uh, just keep them in your back of your head today. All right, Steve, thank you. Yep.